वेलकम टू द कोर्स एच टी एम एल फाइव एंड बूट स्ट्रैप बिफोर वी डाइव इन टू द कोर्स इट इज बेटर टू नो समथिंग अबाउट यूर ऑथर दैट इज अबाउट मी आई एम मंजूर अहमद आई एम अ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सर्टिफाइड ट्रेनर एंड आई हैव बीन वर्किंग ऑन वेब टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वेब टेक्नोलॉजीज फॉर पास्ट टेन प्लस ईयर्स एंड आई हैव फिफ्टीन प्लस ईयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस you can reach me on twitter or on my portal that is manzoorthetrainer.com and coming towards this course we are going to have an introduction to html5 and we'll try to learn semantic elements that is nothing but all your new tags section articles and all those things and we'll understand various attributes and design forms in html5 then we'll go for multimedia and graphics that is your canvas element we will try to play with audio and video tags or audio and video elements we will also try to understand camera api that is how to use the camera of your laptop or your system or inbuilt camera of your device then in advanced topics of html5 we will try to understand web worker we'll see what a web worker is then we will understand the various storage mechanism that is you can store the data on the client side so what are the various ways we will see that in html5 we will understand file upload control and we will also see how to upload multiple files we will also see the drag and drop feature to upload a file you can drag and drop or you might have seen on the forms to sort the elements you can drag and drop the elements or to shop you can drag and drop an item in the basket so we'll understand how to implement the drag and drop feature in your html5 finally we'll end with geolocation api we will see how we can use your current location and you can map it to your google maps so we'll try to understand that in your html5 next moving towards bootstrap we'll start with an introduction to the bootstrap we'll see how to set up this bootstrap then we'll try to understand the basic grid that means the layout of the page how you can design your page how your page could be laid out in a proper form so that it can fit on any device then we'll understand some nav bars that is navigation bars menus we'll try to understand containers we have various containers to store the content or display the content and we have various nav like tabs and accordion pane so that kind of things we can see with the help of navs we'll see various table layouts or various designs of the tables we'll see various buttons forms indicators showing or displaying some messages like alert or warning then we'll also see dialogs how to display a dialog box finally with typography and we'll end up with designing a business website so everything here is about designing bootstrap is about ui design which maintains the ratio or good ui even if the device changes or the size of the device changes anyway once we go for bootstrap subject we'll see so bootstrap is basically used to create responsive websites so what is a responsive website and how to create responsive website we'll see all those things so that's it these are the things that we are going to learn in our course so join me in this course and learn the things in the simplest way thank you very much Thank <laughs> you.